Kevin Lamont at large on this windy day. I am coming to you from the Pioneer Cemetery here in Graham, Texas. I am here to visit the grave of Casey Roy Elliott. You may not know his name, but if you are a fan of true crime stories, you definitely possibly might remember him and what happened. Okay, this is the grave of Casey Roy Elliott, beloved son, brother, and friend to all. March 3rd, 1968 to January 16th, 1996. Casey was referred to by all his friends and family as Roy. Roy Elliott was killed on January 16th of 1996. He was killed by his dead wife, Helen Moore. Documentaries, uh, forensic files. I actually just watched this story on a on a television program on my phone not too long ago. So this woman, prior to Roy's death, pulls out a one hundred thousand dollar life insurance policy on this man, and all of a sudden he ends up disappearing. If you want to go look up on YouTube the story of I would advise you to do so because they're a way better storyteller than I. But um, long story short, uh, when the detective started investigating Helen about the disappearance of her husband, poisoned him with morphine. Now it's not very clear how she injected him with morphine. But she did. Now here's where the story kind of gets a little bit odd. Roy was a very big guy. I remember him. I want to say he was fairly large. Uh, well well above six foot three at least. He's quite a heavy man. He's about 30 pounds. And Helen, of course, was a little woman. So people are wondering, like, how did this woman kill this man? For, you know, inject him. You know, he This woman kills Roy, dismembers his body, and just starts throwing pieces of him all throughout Graham and the surrounding areas. And if I think she confessed, uh, it's, it's not too clear if they found the rest of his remains or all the pieces. But uh, whatever she did to him, wherever she did it, you know, because she lived on a farm and she would often brag to her friends that she could process a deer or a or cattle uh, just as well, uh, if not better than any man. So she was one of those, you know, women that, you know, rustic types, you know, they can do it themselves, get their hands dirty, so to speak. She simply killed him for the insurance money. Now, there was also, the detectives were wondering where she got the morphine from, because morphine is not a readily available drug out there. It's a very tightly controlled drug. And her previous husband uh, died of cancer. Uh, died very rapidly, too. And they would, you know, they prescribed the morphine to deal with the pain. And cancer is a very painful disease to die from. And, you know, it kind of makes you wonder, because he died very, very quickly uh, from cancer. And it did not run in his family. But, you know, just kind of makes you think what really happened there. So, I will uh, try to put a link in the description if you want to watch the story of what happened to uh, Mr. Elliot. Uh, his, his wife, or his you know, ex-wife, whatever you want to call it, uh, as far as I know, is in prison, got life. I think she got the death penalty. I think she got life in prison. But I, I thought it was so odd because I, my, just by dumb luck, I was at the gym watching, you know, man's story came up by dumb luck just as I was coming here. Talk about a coincidence, huh? Anyways, guys, I wanted to show you his grave really quickly. I'm sorry about the wind. Um, I hope it was I hope it was bearable. Anyways, I will catch up with you guys later. Rest in peace to Casey Royale. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Peace out.